So in the lab you guys are going to do, we're going to heat up an aluminum block on a hot plate to an unknown temperature. Then we're going to add it to a sample of water at room temperature, and we're going to see how much the temperature of the water rises. From that we'll be able to figure out the amount of energy that the aluminum metal gives off to the water, and we can calculate what the original temperature of the block was. So if I have a 6 gram block of aluminum, it's heated to that temperature, and add it to 100 grams of water at room temperature, upon addition, the temperature reaches 35 degrees. So the water goes up 10 degrees, and we're going to calculate the original temperature of the metal. So according to the first law of thermodynamics, the heat given off by the aluminum is going to be equal to the heat gained by the water. And as we know, the heat transferred can be calculated by multiplying the specific heat of an object times the mass times the change in temperature it undergoes. We're going to be solving for the change in temperature of aluminum. So if I expand this equation out to have the specific heat of the water multiplied by the mass of the water times the change in temperature of the water, that's going to be equal to negative the specific heat of the metal aluminum times its mass times the change in temperature of the aluminum. And this is going to be the variable that we solve for. So, when I plug in the values for this, you have 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius. That's the specific heat of water. That's how much energy it takes to raise one gram of water by one degree Celsius. We multiply that by how much water we have. We have 100 grams that's going to be heated up by 10 degrees. So grams will cancel out here. Temperature in Celsius will cancel out. And we'll find that 4,184 joules are absorbed by the water. Now, we know these two variables, or we know these two facts about the aluminum. We've got to find the change in temperature. So now we just have to plug in our values. The specific heat of aluminum is 0 0.90 joules per gram degree Celsius. The mass of aluminum we have to be 6 grams. And we're looking for the change in temperature. So, negative 0.9 times 6 is going to give us negative 5.4 joules per degree Celsius times the change in temperature. So when we're solving this and we isolate it, we get to divide both sides by negative 5.4 joules per degree Celsius. That way this cancels out, my marker is dying, and that's unfortunate. So, when I do that over here, 5.4 joules per degree Celsius. Our units are going to be degrees Celsius, so that's going to come up on top. Joules are going to cancel. So when I divide 4184 divided by 5.4, I get that I'm going to have a 774 degrees Celsius change in temperature, a negative 774 change in temperature of my aluminum. So to figure out the temperature that the aluminum originally was, we have to take the fact that the final temperature is 35 degrees. Since the change in temperature is equal to the final temperature minus the initial, we can rearrange this to solve for the initial temperature. So we'll have T sub I for the initial temperature is equal to the final temperature minus the change. And when we plug that in, the final temperature was 35. Our change in temperature was negative 774. So our initial temperature. 35 plus that is going to be 809 degrees Celsius was the original temperature. So, to sum up, we use the first law of thermodynamics to explain that the heat gained by the water was lost by the aluminum, and that the heat absorbed is equal to the specific heat times the mass times the change in temperature.